Oh, hello again. Today's May 16th, 2022. My name is Reagan, and this is what's happening in the world. Here are your past week's headlines. But first, time for some Celsius sparkling apple pear. Ah, crisp and refreshing. We began our week with stocks crashing Monday morning. In fact, the whole market is in practically bear sell-off territory now. But Biden is going to try to give tens of millions of people free internet with government subsidies and internet providers are going to try to finally lower their prices after, hmm, I don't know, more than 10 years of paying premium prices for internet. Indeed, 31% of baby formula is out in some places and up to 40% in others. A new website is launched for parents to get some. High winds in Colorado caused a fire risk alert put on high. 20 multi-million dollar mansions destroyed in a flash. Wildfire swept through an exclusive enclave in Naguna Niguel, California. And a tan haze made from dust from New Mexico blew over. April and May tend to be wet, but it's been the driest on record. I should learn to put the cat in the bathroom. 40 inmates killed in a prison gang breakout in Ecuador. And last year, 320 were killed in prisons. Lockdowns still going on in China, but then again stocks opened higher Tuesday morning. Gas prices are also averaging higher, and wildfires are burning in southern Ukraine near the Black Sea. Pollution from war is awful. South Korea got a new president and will do better than the predecessor, he says. They're tasked with battling high inflation and high household debt there. Biden is going to visit later this month. Goodness. Then they caught the guy who ran with the inmate officer. The lady shot herself. They had a ton of guns and a whole Bonnie and Clyde shootout scene. Kind of crazy. Dead. Janet Yellen says overturning Roe versus Wade would set Aww. women back decades. And a $10,000 French bulldog was stolen from a couple in a Tesla. We're going to Mars, y'all. JK, maybe not. New Mexico is still on fire. But Mustonks. Abbott is under investigation for taking COVID aid and directing it towards Operation Lone Star which is a failed program. Little old man in a wheelchair ruined the state. Of Texas, that is. A new ambassador to, to Ukraine for the US, and Sri Lanka is in complete chaos, and the prime minister resigned. But his, res his brother has resumed power and is held up on his home. Hmm. This from the New York Times, oil giants sell dirty wells to buyers with looser climate goals, studies finds. The transaction can help major oil and gas companies clean up their production by transferring polluting assets to a different firm, analyst says. You know, little switcheroo, little musical chairs with the, with the planet destroying fossil fuels. It's brilliant. Humans are genius. A new study has revealed Submerged beneath the waves, seagrass ecosystems hold colossal reserves of sugar we never knew existed before, with roughly 32 billion cans of Coca-Cola's worth of sweet stuff hiding in the seabed. $40 billion aid for Ukraine is headed to the Senate, though it's likely to get blocked. And a governor's race in Nebraska, I don't know why I wrote that. A new study that examines the dietary signatures contained in bones of more than 2,000 skeletons has cast doubt on assumptions, finding that most Anglo-Saxons ate, ate a diet rich in cereals and vegetables and low in animal protein, no matter what their social status. Pass a passenger was forced to land airplane after the pilot, pilot fell unconscious, and everybody saw this story. Now to a wild story that sounds like it's straight out of a movie. A pilot having a medical emergency, the one and only passenger telling crews on the ground, I don't know how to land this plane. I've got a serious situation here by pilot. Uh, no idea how to fly the airplane. Two people on board the 12 seat single engine Cessna coming from the Bahamas. Two weeks ago, a teenager faces federal charges for pointing a laser at an aircraft. Hmm. Maybe she just didn't want airplanes destroying her fucking future. I can't stand. I can't. I don't understand. A large sinkhole discovered in southern China, 30th of its kind in the same county. There was also a forest inside. The Biden administration cancels oil and gas lease sales in Alaska and Gulf of Mexico. Not like it really matters. And a new stu study finds evidence of surprisingly rapid upward movement of Earth's crust in the island of Taiwan. My girlfriend is from Taiwan. Y'all know that already, right? Over roughly half a million years, the coastal range of East Taiwan has been rising at a rate of 9 to 14 millimeters per year, the research shows. While this seems imperceptibly slow, it's quite fast from mountains. Much of the dramatic topography is on the surface of the planets formed by vertical movements of less than a millimeter per year. 
It adds up. In a Victory Day speech, Putin, plain, Putin <laughs> blames the West for the war in Ukraine. Okay. Why don't we just, as my subscriber suggested, Assassin's Creed execute anyone trying to wage war from here on out. I agree, Nas. It's the one thing I do agree on with you. One million people died from the U.S. and COVID in the U.S., but it's not real, right? It never was. It's just a fake pandemic. Drink bleach. We sit, Then we sent indigenous people to brainwash them into American culture because we're the evil ape. Mm -hmm. North Korea fired another three ballistic missiles, appeared to be short-range this time, in contrast to their long-range missiles they, fought, they shot last week, although they may be getting hit with another variant of the COVID bug right now. Chinese passenger jet abort boarded takeoff and caught on fire. Airbus something something, everyone was evacuated. Get to the chopper! Also, a perfectly preserved dinosaur embryo discovered in China. Sri Lanka is still in chaos. And New Jersey student wins $110,000 with Project Combating Climate Change. New Jersey high school students are combating climate change and food waste by making their own soap using bug oil. Mm -hmm. Soon we'll be all be eating whatever bugs are left. France's unprecedented drought shows climate change is, quote, spiraling out of control. Few people in France are talking about this looming catastrophe as they aren't anywhere, but all signs of a record drought are there. Quote, no region has been spared. We can see the earth cracking every day. Yesterday I was at a farmer's house in the Puyo de Dome region in central France, and he was watering the wheat. If things carry on like this, farmers who can irrigate their crops will be able to deal with it, but others will face dramatic reduction in their yields. This comes from Christine Lambert, the head of France's biggest agricultural union, the FNSEA, told the AFP on Monday. Continuing, since last autumn, we've seen huge droughts in Spain and Portugal, and the same phenomenon has sped, spread to southern France, Lambert said. But, quote, what this unusual about this season is that the drought is affecting regions north of Lyor, the river that divides southern and northern France. Okay, moving on. Russian soldiers caught on camera killing civilians. Finland calls for a NATO membership. And Biden, Biden vows to get inflation under control and blames Putin for high prices. Eight Republicans were subpoenaed for the January 6th insurrection. And 40 billion... Oh, but wait, Elon Musk is buying Twitter, but he's putting it on hold because of fake accounts. The last fugitive from genocide in Rwanda has died. And a new woman was elected to lead the Coast Guard, a four-star admiral. Jerome Powell also has a second term in the Fed. Can we get anyone other than boomers to lead the Congress and U.S. government? Apparently not. Jerome Powell says, quote, a soft landing might be out of the Fed's control, whatever the fuck that means. This has been a hard landing since um, 1989. Japan had a new military base that makes locals feel like a target for attack. And a stern and startling warning from the White House and new COVID response coordinator, in fall and winter, the U.S. could potentially see 100 million new COVID-19 infections if Congress doesn't approve federal funding to fight the pandemic, or people don't wear masks or even give a fuck in the first place. Right. Money, all the money in the world isn't going to solve stupid. Have we, have we learned that yet? Have we learned that yet? A team of marine biologists realized they definitely weren't in Kansas anymore after discovering what appeared to be a yellow brick road on top of an undersea mountain in Hawaii. Yeah. Our Milky Way's black hole was finally revealed and some elementary school kid eats hot Cheetos laced with marijuana. Cool, bro. Wildfires are turning the sky orange in California already. And Jen Spackey our skacky, khaki, had her last press this Friday. Nobody cares. We're going to get some other bimbo that's going to feed us lies and tell us whatever we want to hear. Mm -hmm. And a woman said Dunkin' Donuts coffee burned 30% of her body. Wild, bro. Uh, severe storms in eastern Dakota killed two people. 400 miles of storms, thousands of people without power. And North Korea announced six people died after a sickness spreaded there. Kim Jong-un smoked a cigarette and told his Conrad said everything was calm and cool. Then Russia's foreign minister says the West has declared a hybrid war. Indeed. Pentagon says they don't have a clear picture of what Putin will do next. 
indeed. And Zelensky in, visited with Mitch McConnell and other Republican Congress members, aka evil. Mitch McConnell has been in office so long, and I don't know how. Honestly, it's pure evil. Hundreds of protests across the U.S. for the anti-abortion law, and a ban on wheat exports in India because of a massive wheat crop failure from heat waves. Hmm, what's going to happen when we have simultaneous heat waves, no water, and storms? Hmm? Back to back. What's that going to look like in about five years? Ten people killed in a mass shoot, And then last but not least, everyone's heard about this, the, the ten people killed in a mass shooting in Buffalo, New York. It seems like every month or every week we have one of these mass okay. shootings because America is in a complete decline and society in decay. We hate each other. We're more divided than ever. Inequality has never been higher. Crime is rampant. And I can't admit that I don't feel the same way when I see a Trumper or a uh, redneck or Christian driving. I cannot wait to ask them in about eight years if they thought the climate crisis was real in 2022. But I digress. I can't promise I won't be the nicest guy then. But law and order still exists now, so I'll be a good law-abiding citizen for the meantime. It was an 18-year-old white male with tactical gear who live-streamed. He shot 13 people all black. The governor said social media companies hold a moral responsibility to stop this. Yet the problem is corporations are not people, so they can't have morality. <sighs> deep sigh. President Finland told Russia they're joining NATO, and El Salvador's economy would, could crash with the crash of Bitcoin since they bought a shit ton of it. Kind of dumb. Ukraine's orchestra song won the Eurovision or whatever. It's going to be like an anthem for them. I don't know. U.S. Ambassador to Japan gave speech about world unity and gives a 50 years celebration since we gave up or surrendered to Okinawa. Heatwave bakes Texas already. Six plants tripped offline Friday afternoon, and it's only fucking May. And last but not least, the peat fire has exploded to 437 square miles, and New Mexico's governor blames the federal government for fire because of part of it happened from a control burn from the U.S. Forest Service and or decades of lying to the public and military industrial complex, shooting shit in the air, warming the environment, along Whatever, I'm going to stop. And the peat fire has exploded into 437 square miles, and New Mexico's governor blames the federal government for the fire because part of it happened from a controlled burn from the U.S. Forest Service. So how is this going to look in four years when the fires are everywhere? Are we just going to keep blaming the Forest Service? Are we actually going to get down to the truth that we are a heat engine and everyone is responsible for destroying the planet, including yours truly? I don't know. We'll never confront the truth. But that's why we have the Doom Wizard. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. And share with your friends if they care about what's happening on the planet that they live on. And in the meantime, enjoy your week. And I will catch up with you soon. Maybe make some sun, fun, sunny side videos that are less me rambling and more comedy. I like gallows humor. Okay, this has been your update. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll chat with you later. Peace.